In this video, I'm going to learn the 2022 Blue Coat Snare Break in under 15 minutes. So, all right. It's time to, uh, I guess, learn learn the Blue Coats thing. Is that right, Jake? Yeah, but first, Chris, what what are you wearing? What is this shirt? So, I mean, we all saw the Blue Coats uniforms last year, and I tried to be as ugly as they were. Oh. Emotional, damn it! Oh this God. was the closest I could get. Wow. Best in drums, worst in uniforms, am I right? No. YouTube, am boo. I right? Everybody, boo. <laughs> Boo Chris in the comments right now. Say I'm boo just, Chris. I'm just saying, they were horrible. The suspenders. Oh, Comment so below. Bad. Is this good uniform or bad uniform? Horrible. How are we feeling? Horrible. Chris, my heart hurts. But in all fairness, I teased them because the drum line was pretty banging. They, they, were, they were very good. They are very good. So we're finally doing it. Uh, world champion, I'm going to uh, look at their snare break that they played. So here we go. And we're going to play it now. Huh. Oh? Okay. Huh? Huh? Oh? Okay. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Huh? Ooh. 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 All right. So the tricky thing that's going to happen with this feature, I can already tell without look, without pulling up the music. The Blue Coats have been on this train where so many variety of rhythms and none of them are on easy to feel beats. They're very over the bar line. It's very nebulous. Like if you're like, listen to the drum line for time. Nope. <laughs> Do not listen to the drum line for time. It's not like uh, Colts this year was really good about like there are some groups that do you can feel beat one, two, three, and four very consistently throughout the whole thing. And the blue coats are not one of them. I didn't know where the beat was in any of that. I just knew there was. Yeah, that's not the quarter. And note. I was like, I don't think that's an eighth note. I don't think it's, it's definitely not the quarter note. It's too fast. Like, I think there were some fives. There are probably some nines. You know, there's, there's gonna be a lot of things. But the good news is we do have sheet music. This is the unofficial sheet music. I know people have been asking for it, commenting for it. Uh, just Google sheet music and the word Reddit and someone on Reddit has transcribed it. It's I always on Reddit. It's, it's always on Reddit. You can find it there. I promise you, you can. It's, again, unofficial because we're not here to, you know, I, the, people who, the people who write this, they deserve, you know, all the credit and they deserve to have their own versions of it. Like, they shouldn't just be distributing it for the masses, so. But, I, you, but if you wanted to maybe find it on the internet, we're not gonna stop you. Yeah, I mean, that's, I'll just tell you, that's how we found our music, so. All right, here we go, Jake. Um, start the countdown. Hey, real quick, while I'm learning this, um, I haven't told you that you should probably like this video. So, I'm gonna give you about five seconds while I do a little sick trick, and you go ahead and click that like button. Here we go. Excellent. Now, <laughs> right, here we go, here we go, here we go. So, um, yeah, so right off the bat, we got a little four over three action here with the buzzes. So weird. Why? <laughs> I get it, like maybe it feels good in the hands, but... Quarter note triple. Not eighth notes. And then I don't know what their hand is doing, so let's kind of see what their hand is doing in this. Like, what's their left hand doing? Is it staying up? Nope. Okay. So, left hand kind of comes down after the buzzes. Huh. And then, uh, Playing what most people do for nine lits, where it's over two beats. But it's diddled. Hmm. So does it line up on one hand and then the other hand on the, on yes. the click? Yes, so left hand start. Uh, except that wasn't it. That's still... Gonna have to 
Oh. Again, I'm probably gonna use my pit training and like listen. Listen. <laughs> Just play with and the battery. Whenever, whenever I start to get a little loud, I'm gonna go a little faster or a little slower and stay with it. And stay with it. So then we've got from there. Uh, is that it? Huh. Alright, well at least that feels nice. <laughs> They're doing a fast little four-stroke. That was kind of the the motif. Like you'll see that in the show several times. They hmm. like Tom kind of wrote it without or not without throughout. Um, okay. The chicken about chicken about like that's how the snares come in in the closer and there's just you know, yeah. I mean and it works. Like it's just you just need to learn that like space. And then the nice thing about it too is when you do different heights. Kind of works. Kind of sounds funky. So, anyways, um, after the release of that is a. Uh... All right. Excellent. Anyone anyway, can turn it back to just as me. Yes. There we go. Um, then we've got some gut action where my uh, where my right hand was. Triple it five, triple it five. Da 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 da. I think that travels to the gut as well. <laughs> cool. So let's try from the top, from the top to uh, to this to bar sixteen, and here we go. That was a little rough. A little rough on the nine lit roll. I'm, I'm still not too bad though. Yeah, not too. I mean, I need to just do it slower than I think. That's it. I think it's a little thing like that. Let's watch. Let's watch the blue coats again. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. They do a nice little small stick click there. And sure enough, they uh, after watching that, I learned a couple things. This. That moves to the edge, the, and then, so the, the flick up is part of the five. It's just the first chord note. Did you, when the front was doing this, did you did you have them try to latch on to anything in this? Was it just like, full <laughs> so the, the front was you push the button for the voiceover, and then you hide behind your keyboard. Oh, thank God. <laughs> video, on, <laughs> video on screen of the blue pit not participating in this at all. Because I was going to say, like, what did you tell them to latch on to? I this? told them to just wait until they go, cut, and then, and, then, and, and, then and then you'd come in with your nice rolls. Okay, because I was like, the only thing you could really tell them is the second buzz is on B3. Yeah, literally this part is voiceover and battery is playing and that's it because it's so weird that's so awesome all right moving on um so hippopotamus, hippopotamus. okay this is the when you look at it it looks horrific it doesn't look but it's a repeating pattern so so you got this you get two different things very on the beat and then you have six tuplet takes up an eighth note. So you got this like three eighth note pattern just repeating over itself, but it's two different hand speeds. Like that's your left hand diddle, and then the right hand diddle is so much tighter, and you have to make sure they stay the same and not just. So it's it's just a six stroke roll, but weird. 
It's a six stroke roll, but your hands are performing at different speeds. Mm. <laughs> Good job, Tom. So close. I wouldn't put me in the snare line. It's close at about 75% speed. We'll, 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 we'll take it where we can. All right, Chris, you burned about seven and a half minutes. How's it going? Woo! We're close to the end, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, roll, run this out. Then after that, almost a triplet roll, except add a second hand in there for a pair diddle. So yeah, we got some ninelets here, and it is like a uh, almost a pair diddle diddle, and then another dada pa, and that's it. That's those nine notes. Then it's just kind of fast. And then five laurel. And then. Yeah, and it needs to be, I need to do use less wrist. I keep trying to move out. It's just. And then. Da, 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 da. All right, Jake, here's what I think we do. I think we try to play it at 75% speed with the music and see what happens. Sorry, I already, I already screwed that up. Okay. Yeah, this is tricky. Sorry. Take two. Take two, yeah. So, it, like, the music isn't bad. It's just, like, a little weird when you actually play with the drum line. Yeah. <clears throat> So what, what, tell, walk me through, what's, what's, what's going yeah. on? What's so weird about There's, it? Uh, there, there, there are notes that are not happening at the right place from the sheet music. Let me double check them. There's just some like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just the sheet music's a little, a little off. On one spot. You, you can say that to the camera. Too. Yeah. All right. So upon doing it at a much slower rate, and after and after learning the music, we do have one little adjustment at least for now. Um, it looks like a bar twelve. What we have on the page. Um, we need that six. The the diddle to happen one note sooner. So instead of it needs to be there. It is. Okay. And here we go. One more time now with with that with that change, and we'll see how much of this gets better. All right.
just the I made it a triplet instead of the uh, triplet. Yeah, I made it a I made it a five. Yeah, a triplet instead of a fivelet. After the ninelets. Also, kind of based on the audio, they might not be doing true ninelets. They might have gapped a little bit of the. Which is fine. They played clean, so it doesn't really matter what the rhythm is. You know, I just need to know. All right, Jake. I think we. Uh, I think we kind of try full send and see what All happens. Right. Here we go. Uh, oh boy, golly, I keep accidentally doing things like uh, hitting full screen when I don't need to. Okay. Mistake one, learn some things on it, but you know, okay. pretty close. Pretty still close. got some, still got some time to keep still it under, time, to, to keep it time. under the limit. Here we go, here we go, here we go. One more time. Okay. Do you want to try it with the drum? Yeah, let's try it with the drum. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to turn the Jake cam into the second Chris cam. So we're going to transition. Ready, set, magical transition. Now. So this, is, this has been whew, a challenge. Uh, tell you what, um, if you have any other ideas of videos that I should do or that I should, uh, drum lines that we should review and I should learn licks from, uh, please comment down below. Uh, we always look at them and we do have a list of videos to shoot based on your comments. So if you really want something. I'm sorry that we can't get to all of them. There's so many, we're trying. <laughs> yeah. I know there's one guy who's like day three of commenting that I want the Colt snare break. We're working on it, my guy. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm doing my best. I'll be honest though, the more that you comment, the more likely we are to do the videos so if you if you keep commenting it we will listen to you i promise so yeah that was the uh that was the blue coat snare break and that was uh that was really weird as i anticipated um if you want to use the same sticks that i've used i've actually got some brand new ones right here y'all this is the innovative percussion fs5 with the nice little apex logo on them i use these sticks as you can see right here I use them in all my videos, and every drumming gig I do, I have a pair of these. So, you can use the exact same six. Apexpercussion.com slash shop. You can do it. If you enjoyed this video of me learning DCI drum breaks really quickly, please hit subscribe below. You're going to see a lot more of these types of videos, so why not subscribe? It's free. All right, this is going to be a controversial take, y'all. Uh, breakdown of the end. What is my Chris score? Chris, you, you better not. You better not do it. It's a six. A six! <laughs> Emotion! A six. I'm putting world-class groups in six. Okay, here's, they won. I we, we won. I understand <laughs> they won, Jake. But again, this is a controversial take, and I don't mind. And I'm going to say it. The rhythms are complex to a degree that no one can really follow what's happening. It's not something you can bob your head to or you feel a groove to. And then the vocabulary, because of that, the vocabulary could be condensed to a degree that you know. The really hard part of it was those triplets into the six tuplets. That, that slurred six stroke, really difficult to clean. Lots of credit where credit is due. But if you look at some of these, what the other groups were doing vocabulary wise, way harder. harder. Yes, but Chris, how clean was it? How it was it was the cleanest. They, they were, were so clean. They were the cleanest so group. Clean. And then here's the other thing that a lot of people won't, won't talk about, is that front ensemble really won it. 
They really did. That front Good ensemble job, was <laughs> light years above most groups. I'll say most groups. There's another front ensemble that I really like. Uh, yeah, it's a six. And that is also a little bit of personal bias to me because I had a lot of trouble with some of these rhythms. So it, it is what it is. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. In this video, I'm going to be learning the Blue Coats 2022 <laughs> words. <laughs> We're going to keep that. Here we go. <laughs> You're going to start breakfast.